Hello everyone. In this video I will show you how you can study informational supply for any topic using the tool called Infranodus, which allows you to quickly see what are the main topics in what exists out there on a certain subject. So for example, keyword research, what are people offering on this topic on YouTube at the moment? And you can see all the different topics here, YouTube learning, SEO strategies, Hindi masterclasses, blogging tools, traffic tactics, and so on. So these are all the different topics which are on the offer. And once you understand what's on the offer, you can also look at the gaps and highlight gaps in the network. So for example, you see that people offer blogging tool information and also information about different tactics to get more traffic, but maybe not in the same context. So here is an interesting proposition of offering a tool that can be used for blogging, but also for increasing your traffic at the same time, maybe some kind of extension. So you can also generate a new idea based on those gaps which are identified in the current informational supply. So this is why it can be re really useful for marketing people, those who uh, just study a certain field because they're interested to see what's missing inside. So also what are the gaps in certain ways of thinking, also in the markets and uh, in the minds of people in different texts and so on. So you can really use it for all kinds of purposes. And you switch through those gaps and if you see something interesting, some gap that you find could be interesting to connect, uh, so, for example, something for beginners here and Google Ads so also that there is a lot of stuff that are offered for beginners. So now you know what's on the offer and which combinations are missing. And then you can create content, video, a description to your video that would tell people uh, that, you know, this video is on the subject so that they can easily find it. And then uh, you can also get your content in front of their eyes. So in this case, uh, we have the channel here and I'm uploading a video right now actually on keyword research and based on all of those insights I can then create better name and description for this video that I'm uploading on keyword research, add better tags and then make it easier to be found on YouTube so then I can also use it for my own content promotion. So I just wanted to show you step by step how that would work if you're interested to learn how to actually do it for your own stuff because now I just gave an overview so if you want we can also dive into the technical detail of how you do that actually. So first of all you go to infranodus.com, open a new app and uh, in this case you can choose the keyword research SEO tools, YouTube keywords and in this simple interface we put keyword research so we want to find 100 videos, top 100 videos on keyword research in English for users in the USA. Save them into this graph and we will exclude video descriptions from search. Uh, I think we will keep video descriptions so we understand what's on the offer in general. So we click import and then it imports 100 videos uh, their titles and this descriptions of videos. They're listed here with links to the videos and you can quickly see that okay actually the words keyword research are removed because if we add them back in they will take over all the space because this is the main keyword search phrase so we hide it from the graph and see the context of uh, what's on the offer around this topic right so all the videos that have keyword research and what other words so a lot of them use the words SEO tool so when people talk about keyword research they also talk a lot about SEO tools so we can save this into our notes and use it for the description and the title of the video too because this seems to be like a popular subject but also we don't want to only use very popular terms because otherwise we will be like everyone and no one will distinguish our video from the rest so we can hide that and see what's hiding under. So for example, people are offering a lot of free stuff. We don't know if the audience is actually interested in the fact that it's free. We saw in the previous video that we recorded on keyword research that people are actually interested in free stuff. So we can say that it's free because there is a trial in this product also. In Infernodus there is a trial. So we can say that it's free. And actually when you see the word like this, free, you can also go to relations panel here and it shows you what other words it's connected to. So it shows you free tutorial, free video on YouTube, also in Hindi. So for the audience in India can be interesting. Google competitor method 
free ChatGPT. So kind of free tutorials and tools to improve positions in YouTube. We can actually save all these combinations by clicking this button here into notes. And we have a nice list of all the different possibilities of keywords uh, that relate to the word free in this particular context. There are also some word pair pairs here. If we want to find something we like, so for example, learning tutorials and uh, learning videos. So the word learn is also used a lot. Free, learn and tutorial. So we can remove them now, also fine. Learn, video. Okay, so we know this information. Let's also save it once more, just in case all these words. Then we hide them from the graph, see what's hiding under. And here is an interesting part because uh, you start seeing some more specific results than most of the tools would get you to. Because now you're seeing in the descriptions and the titles of the videos the stuff that are uh, not present in all the videos and all the descriptions. So here we now have some modularity, uh, some differences, some different clusters of videos and themes. So that allows us to see how they can be more specific and what's on the offer already. So we can also use this button where uh, GPT-4 is interpreting those clusters and here it shows us that um, one cluster is about blogging method here. So uh, the videos on different blogging methods, videos on website ranking. And that's interesting because what relationship does it have to keyword research? So we can look into this after. Then blogging domination. So that's obviously how to dominate the blogging sphere by keyword research, uh, a big phrase and stuff for beginners and also connected to the videos in Hindi. Okay, so that's also something interesting for us to know. That there's a lot of educational tools uh, on increasing your blogging domination and website ranking uh, and different blogging methods. Okay, so now the interesting part is that we can also go into the blind spots and click highlight and network and show clusters that are disconnected from one another that could be better connected. That means that if we propose something in between, we would bridge uh, the gap in the structure of supply because this is what's supplied at the moment on YouTube. We're finding a gap in the supply and we're trying to see if it's interesting to bridge it with some new offering that doesn't exist yet in the market. Uh, so here it's blogging domination for beginners. Maybe that's kind of like a, a very big statement to make in the very beginning that you just teach beginners how to dominate the blogging sphere. So that doesn't seem so interesting. Let's shift to another one. Traffic competition, beginner creation. So kind of like how beginners can learn about traffic competition and maybe this is too technical for them. So we move on, we get rid of beginners, unfortunately in this case, um, and we go to YouTube and traffic competition. So. That's interesting. We need to mention the word YouTube in the description to our video because it's used a lot. Also, we saw in the study of uh, the demand, uh, also people search a lot for YouTube stuff. But competition is interesting. So let's see what is this connection about YouTube and about competition. We can actually generate, generate a question using AI here. Uh, it does it in Hindi, which is great because uh, we use the word, uh, you know, Hindi there. Uh, but then sometimes it will generate something in English. And here it's saying in its broken GPT-3 way, but that is nevertheless very interesting because uh, I actually really like when uh, it's not yet generating very well phrased human stuff because you have to interpret the, the connection that it's trying to make. So here it's very interesting that it says, what strategies can Abishkek? Okay, this is just because there was the names of people in the videos. Uh, what strategies can we use to bring unique and high traffic to any YouTube channel while avoiding competition and destroying low traffic? So how to get rid of, get, getting rid of low traffic. So how we can get rid of low traffic we don't even need this part actually. So it's just like which strategies to bring unique and high traffic to any YouTube channel while avoiding competition. So how can we promote videos on YouTube avoiding competition? So this can be in the description of the video actually. So this is why I'm going to save this phrase even if it was a bit broken and uh, and you know not so clean and you can even actually ask the AI to elaborate on this question. So you ask 
this question back to the thing itself. You can take the current context into account if you want. So all the other offering, and then it will synthesize some idea, which might be more interesting because now, now we're using GPT-4. So it might be a bit more coherent, but it's not to give us a specific idea. It's more to guide us in a certain direction. So for example, here it proposes to use ChatGPT for keyword research. Uh, it's promoting itself, actually. That's quite funny. Uh, post regularly using SEO techniques, watch blogging masterclasses, always keep innovating fresh topics, maintain authority. So it kind of gives a summary on the different strategies uh, that you can use for avoiding competition. But what it proposes, in fact, is quite generic. I think everyone is using it. And this is why uh, this graph method that I showed just before, where you kind of manually try to think of the connections, is more interesting. Or you just generate questions and then think of the answer yourself, because that's the kind of more interesting use of it. That's why we have the question feature here. Uh, it's actually the first one, you know, so we always recommend to use questions and then to try to answer your own questions. So which strategies can we use to bring unique and high traffic to YouTube channel while avoiding competition? And then if we try to answer this question, then we can say that using Infernodus is one of those ways because you're actually slicing off all the top layer of competition, which you have here in the list of the words that are hidden from the graph. And you get to the parts that the competitors didn't cover because there is no connection over those parts. So here, uh, YouTube videos on working with the competition. So we will use this YouTube competition. We also save. That's very interesting for us. We move on to select those words, show another gap. Uh, these are quite close. Maybe we don't need them. Ranking results and uh, some kind of marketing lingo. Not so interesting. Competitor stealing. Topic generation. This is great. Topic generation. Uh, I know that it's one of the uh, things that you can get in Infernodus. So this is great because to generate new topic ideas. So great. There are also videos on generating new topic ideas. So I should definitely add in the description to this video uh, that it also helps you generate topic for the blog. So I will generally accumulate some phrase ideas like this. Here it copied too many of these free ones. So I'm just going to clean this up a bit and just leave only a few top ones just to get it like that clean nice okay so now i have all this list of keywords and i will think of uh, a name for this video that i'm uploading now on our youtube channel that will cover all these topics so i know that it was about youtube and then it was about seo tool free tutorial seo tool free tutorial what else do we have here uh, learn and competition and specifically YouTube, but we have YouTube already. Learn competition and topic generate. Learn competition, topic generate. I could also, by the way, just copy and paste all of this into description here, but I just prefer to do it manually like this, but you can also copy and paste it here and then choose the stuff you want. So for example, in this case, I'm already reusing some of the language that was generated uh, and I will rewrite it as a description. So let's think of a title later. First, we write the description. So I will say, uh, what strategies can we use to promote our content but avoid competition for keywords. In this video, we demonstrate a unique keyword research. So here I'm mentioning the keywords that are very important for our audience. Unique keyword research uh, approach where you can discover the missing niches in what your customers search for. So because we're describing not this video that I'm recording at this very moment, but the video that we made before, it was the same approach, but the studying demand. So this is why I'm fixing this description here to make it sound like it's about the thing that the video was about, demand in this case, not supply how it is in this video. Uh, and uh, then we finish writing this. So probably this we don't need. Uh, and then we just write something about Infernotus can generate topics. So these are also two important keywords that you wanted to use for your blog posts and help you write content in a way that uh, mentions all the necessary keywords to help you reach the audience that 
is already looking for your content because this is what the people like we, we studied the suggested uh, search queries which are actually based on um, what people search for and then we leave the link to the video and so we have the description here and then uh, the title of the video can be something like uh, let's say YouTube SEO free YouTube SEO tool tutorial uh, learn how to generate topics for keyword research and I think it's more like from keyword research okay great so here we are within YouTube limit have the title we have the description that talks what the video is about of course then there is a uh, um, adding videos into the right categories, which every YouTube creator does. Then, uh, you know, all the different settings. This I will come back and correct after, but basically we just try to put tags and you could actually use the stuff that we already generated in Infernodus here and just use some of the main ones as tags. In fact, what you can do is just to put everything back and then you have the list of the main keywords here, most influential ones. So you just kind of save them to notes keyword research SEO, and then also these ones here. And then you just add them into the description of the video into the keywords. So unfortunately in YouTube, you have to separate them in a different way. So you just do keyword research SEO, research SEO tools free, and then whatever else we had there. Um, YouTube tutorial and so on, right? And then, of course, the language, but this everyone who does YouTube video knows this, so we just quickly go to the next page. This I will do after, so I don't bore you with the technical details, and we put it on public and publish. And then the video is published with this description that we used uh, the actual informational supply for to understand what exists out there and to get to the parts that are more interesting than the surface layer stuff so they make our content more specific and more interesting for our audience try it out on infernodus.com and uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments and also subscribe to the channel so you can receive more updates uh, in the next videos about how you can combine those different graphs together so you, you can compare supply with demand and see uh, what are the gaps, but also what's missing from what the audience is searching. So that can also be an interesting direction to explore this difference between demand and supply, what people are searching for, but don't find. So we can do this in the next video. Thank you.